Hello, good to have you back on Candid Talk with Adele. My name definitely is Adele and I'm excited that you are there watching with us and you're busy commenting and liking and subscribing. If you're new here and you haven't done that, please do subscribe and hit the bell button so that every episode that comes out, you are the first one to know. All right. Um, Definitely, I am at the new Nanjing Hotel where everything is exclusive and exquisite. So if you want to enjoy yourself and have a good time and bring your family for those luncheons and nice Chinese food and everything else, this is the place to be. So visit them on the Lugogo Bypass and you'll be able to enjoy all those services, everything. And of course, they are affordable. Today, we are talking about personal accountability remember this channel is your accountability partner so now we're going to see what does it mean to be personally accountable let's get started Now, when someone talks about accountability, in most cases, the things that get back to our mind is financial accountability, you're thinking about money, but personal accountability is not only about money. It's about your life. In the other week, we talked about growth, and then we talked about change, and now we're trying to see how does accountability blend in in those two elements of growth and of course of change. So personal accountability is a point when you get to take responsibility of what happens in your life. You become accountable, you become responsible, you become liable and answerable for everything that happens in your personal life because that could actually affect the people around you. Now, if you have a family, um, if you don't have children yet, you have your outside family, your mother, your father, or your brothers, you find that when you're living your life, you are not just living for yourself. There is always someone else possibly depending on you, or if not that, you're depending on someone, or you're answerable to someone else, even in a workspace. So, it is important that you become responsible, you become accountable because that is a quality that is undisputably very, very needed in any setting. Personal accountability, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back to the personal level. So when you talk about it, in most cases you're looking, okay, how do I personally become accountable in my life and why is it important? It is important to be accountable because you're setting boundaries and managing expectations. Now, the boundaries are, I am going to do this, just like we discussed before, and how I will do it, and then after that, I will ask myself, was I able to achieve what I set out to do? If not, what happened? It is sort of a self-assessment procedure that you do on yourself to allow you grow and also to see if you've been able to change to an individual that you want to be or to the goals if you're getting closer to the goals that you set for yourself it's in most cases it goes back to let's say financial management let's give an example of financial management and planning if you're budgeting so personally i have a small book where i write every expenditure that i have in a month every every expenditure whether it's a pen whether it's a a very small thing, I will write it because I want to see if I've set a budget of 500,000 Uganda shillings for that month as an example. Have I been able to stay within that budget? If not, what happened? Then you go back and assess the process to allow you to be accountable. So that one, you do things better the next time, but also manage your finances well, manage your family 
settings and everything you've planned for yourself, your business, you must be accountable, personally accountable. If you own a business, let's look at it in a business setting. If you own a business and you're not accountable, chances are it will not succeed. Why? If you're a self business owner, like a small startup, you must be there to do the supervision, to put tools in place that can allow you to see what is happening on a daily basis. You have to be personally liable and accountable for everything that happens in that space. So imagine that you set up this business and you're not there and there are no tools or systems. Then what are you doing? It is most likely going to fail because the people in it have no direct attachment to it. So they are not responsible for it. They are not accountable for it. Neither are they liable for it. So personal accountability allows you to set boundaries, to manage expectations, but also to encourage growth and commitment. Where there's no accountability, for example, when you go for a, an interview, most young people, we are going for interviews from place to place looking for better employment or green pastures or better or, you know, you want to be a better person in life. So you move from place looking for doing interviews. One of the qualities that stands out, they want to know, are you transparent? Are you accountable? Because that's one quality that shows how honest you are and how responsible and reliable you are as a person. No one, if you're watching this for the first time and you're going to take nothing out of this episode, this is what you should take out. No one wants to be around a person that is not reliable, that is not honest, and is not accountable. All you get, you just squander. No one wants that person around them. Personal accountability shows how focused you are and how determined you are to achieve your set goal and objective. That's why we always say that this channel is about growth and accountability because we are all about transparency and we want to have young people that are transparent so that our generation is an exciting one. Now, how does one become accountable? That's one of the main questions I was getting. How do I become accountable, Adele? How do I ensure that I'm able to achieve my goals or if I fail, I have something to check me? Call it checks and balances. Now, one of the ways is to make sure you get a mentor or someone that can guide you or call it an accountability partner. In our Think in January, we talked about those episodes. I'll leave the link and everything in the description box because we talked about accountability partners, their relevance and why you need them, especially mentors, if you want to be better in everything you do, say business or your personal life. I'll give an example. My best friend, um, I, I always tell her that she, she needs to know what's happening in my life and so that I'm able to be accountable. So I told her I want to do something this year and that I'll leave it written somewhere and she has to check me and say, Adele, did you achieve this this year? Where, where have you reached? What are you doing about it? That's a, an, an accountability partner. But we also talked about this person not being a person who will be biased. For example, if you've not done something, then they'll say, um, it's okay, you did next time. Uh, it's okay, um, it doesn't matter. You have to be strong, disciplined, and committed, especially in the journey of accountability. There is no way around it. To grow, to be transparent, and to be in a better space, accountability is a must. Now, there's this big quote that says you either make yourself accountable or you will be made accountable by the circumstances around you. You either make yourself accountable or you'll be made accountable by the circumstances around you. The other plan or the other strategy of how you can be accountable is by drawing a very clear plan for yourself 
a very clear strategy on how you want to achieve or get a certain level. Is it business management? Is it financial planning and the elements that are all in financial planning? You have to draw a strategy. Let's make an example in a family setting. So I have one beautiful baby boy and I want him to go to a certain school. That school costs this amount of money. And if you do the math, maybe by the time he gets to grade 12, this is how much he will have spent. So now you go back and say, okay, if he's going to spend this kind of money, where is it going to come from? You draw a plan and a strategy on how you're going to achieve it. And then you start working on it. You're getting accountable from the smallest level to the final level where you want to achieve your set goal and objective. So when you look at the journey we have taken from week one to now, everything is aligned. You want to grow on your personal level. You will have to change to make that growth a reality. But you must be accountable if you want everything to gel and become one. Being accountable finally allows you to live a satisfying and healthier life because everything is in order. If you love planning like I do, yes, those around me know that I plan. I plan every little thing up to the end, which is sometimes annoying, but it's a good thing. So if you're a planner, you need to be able to know that accountability allows you to plan well and you end up living a satisfying life because nothing gets you un off guard. Nothing gets you off guard. If it comes, there are those things that you can't avoid. So be accountable to yourself. Remember that every action has a consequence, whether it's positive or negative. So accountability allows you to manage some of those risks in order to achieve your set goals and objectives. So tell me in the comment section, how accountable are you to yourself, to your families, to those around you, to your business, for people around you to actually say, oh, well, look, Adele is reliable, is accountable, is transparent. We want her in our space. How accountable are you? Without that quality, it is going to be very difficult for you to grow and to accept change in a very, very simple way. I hope this episode added value to yourself, but also remember, if everything fails, Candid Talk is here because we are your growth and accountability partner at all levels. You can reach out to me in my email or anything that um, my contacts are all in the description box. Just let me know what you want to talk about and we'll be able to let you be accountable and show you how those steps work together to make you a rounded person, especially in this journey of growth and accountability. Thank you for watching. If you've been new here, please do subscribe, like and leave a comment. I would really, really love to hear from you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode, which will be exciting. Bye-bye.